share a little something with you that we learned while we were on the water on Mille Lacs a few weeks ago. You know, it's no secret when you're getting a little older that these knots are becoming more and more difficult to tie, uh, especially when you're tying a leader onto your braided line. Well, uh, I've always tied a blood knot or a double uni or an Albright, but when you're in the wind and uh, the boat's bobbing up and down, it's really difficult to tie those knots, and we all know that that knot is our weak link. But we found this one little knot that is really simple to tie, and uh, it's strong. Uh, we caught a bunch of big smallies on these with this knot, had no failures at all. And up north, you have to retie so much because of the zebra mussels and the rock that your leader gets short, you need to retie your leader when you're out of the water. But this, this uh, new knot that I'm gonna show you is one that's new to me, but it's been around for a while. I believe it's called a Lefty Cray Leader Knot. And uh, it's really stout, it's really strong. So let me show you how, to, how I tie this. Uh, you have your two pieces of, of uh, string, you have your leader and your braid, and you just give yourself a, enough so that you can make a good loop and get your finger in it. So the secret to this knot is don't, when you loop it, don't loop it this way. Loop it this way, away from you, and you get it where the two knots come together and you turn it back toward you. Stick your finger in, one, two, and on the third one, pull all your leader end and all of your leader and your braided line through and then start pulling. That is a very, very strong knot right there. That's your lefty cray leader knot. And it's a small, it's a small knot. You trim it down real close and it really becomes an easy, easy knot to tie when you're on the water, especially when you're getting a little older and your hands don't work quite as well as they used to. So uh, another thing that I wanted to tell you about too was some uh, uh, scissors that we've uh, we found. Of course, the Gerbers, man, these Gerbers are the best that you can find. They're like $20 or so. But the secret that we found is these small little kudas. For $4.95 at your local academy or your Bass Pro Shop, you can pick you up a couple of pairs of these, and these are some great, great braid scissors. So pick you up a pair of these, put them in your tackle box, tie the lefty cray knot, and you'll be catching them big ones, and you won't have to be worrying about your knots failing on you. See ya.